everyone. Uh, I'm Mikhail, and I'm uh, representing the Alpha team uh, in LMS Education. Quick overview of uh, some of these goals. Um, so uh, we've uh, we are introducing collapsible columns in the Grader report. Um, in this way, we are enabling teachers to collapse or hide and expand columns in the Grader report, so they can only focus on the information that are interested in. Uh, with this feature, we also uh, reduce the long horizontal uh, scroll, uh, which is identified as a big pain point for users. And also, we are um, also building a mechanism. Um, as you can see in the tertiary navigation, we're introducing a drop down where teachers can quickly uh, expand uh, multiple uh, collapse columns. Next slide, please. Okay, so we're also introducing a better way of uh, displaying any existing feedback in the Grader report. Uh, so currently, um, users are forced to uh, navigate away from the Grader report to see if there's any existing uh, feedback uh, on any grades. And there's not a clear indicator that a grader also has a feedback, which is also a problem. So we also, um, to improve this, we introduce uh, indicators and we also introduce uh, models uh, to um, immediately display uh, feedback so the users are not forced to navigate back, uh, which will interfere with that, with their ongoing work uh, in the greater report. Next slide, please. Yeah, and also we are introducing collapsible grade categories in the gradebook setup page, similar like the uh, collapsible uh, categories. So the purpose of this is just to um, enable users to focus on the information that they're interested in and also reduce the long vertical scroll that we usually have uh, in the gradebook setup page. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, we have two demos today. Uh, I'll start off uh, by demoing the collapsible categories uh, in the Gradebook setup page, and after me, Matt will demo the collapsible columns in the Grader report. So I'll just quickly share my screen. I hope you can see my screen now. Awesome. OK, so I'm currently logged in as an admin and um, in the gradebook setup in a course. Um, so as you can see, this is the uh, redesign of the gradebook setup page uh, that was uh, presented last showcase. And uh, now we are introducing the collapsible columns. You can see next to each uh, uh, category, sorry. So as you can see, next to each grade category, there's a um, little toggle button, which uh, enables collapsing and expanding categories. Um, with addition to this, uh, as you can see that um, in the grade category, there's no value currently in the max grade uh, column. But if you collapse, you can see that that changes and the aggregation in this category is uh, displayed um, so that teachers have, uh, can clearly see how the total uh, is being generated even if uh, grid categories are collapsed. Um, also, uh, the state of collapsed categories is stored uh, per teacher basis. So for example, if you navigate away to a different page, for example, if you try to add a new grade item, and if you come back, you can see the same state is stored and all the previously collapsed categories are still collapsed. Yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, in terms of the collapsible grade categories. Um, any questions? Sorry, Mahal, did you mention that the settings are per user? Per uh, session, sorry? Yeah, I believe I mentioned that. Yeah, so it's per teacher basis. Uh, if different teacher logs in and yeah, um, they, they won't see the collapsed categories that were collapsed by a different teacher. Okay, um, there's no any questions. Um, over to you, Matt.
Kia ora. Everyone should be able to see my screen. It looks like it. So um, I'm going to quickly cover the column collapsing and the uh, grade report. So um, let me know if this has ever happened for you. Are you tired of having a long horizontal scroll going all the way to the end of the page? Oh my lord, it's so much. Especially with username because look at these usernames. They shouldn't be that wide. Oh look, I've got a silly username here. So now I've got a big old dingus of a friggin' column. So now I can go, wow, collapse, it's gone. Wow, collapse, it's gone. Wow, I want to get rid of that. And I want to get rid of some of these as well. I also want to still be able to see my averages, so it's all still there. Wow. And um, you obviously would have noticed if you're eagle-eyed, you'll see all of your items are just in here. Oh no, I want some items back. Expand them all out. The list is reflected. Wow, the items are now gone. Um, obviously, you can expand them from within the page as well if you want to go through manually and collapse in again. Um, beyond that, I don't have any free knives on this promotional offer, I'm afraid. But if there's any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I don't have an 0800 number but you can DM me on Element or ask a question right now.